Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are back to Jeremania 2. The quickening up next, Duos Twist, the Women's and Hardcore Championships are both on the line. Rachel, and this is basically and the title of the match. This is basically what it's going to be like. A Duos Twist match. Up the best Explain this to me. Uh, the, the Duos Twist or... This, yeah, the match. Uh, really well, essentially, it, it, it's... it's uh, um, Brendan, who was right here, who's of course never won a match with Jeremix, teaming up with his girlfriend, uh, his fiance, if you will, uh, Rachel, and they're going, they're going after both the hardcore and women's championships, and the team that wins uh, earns both titles, I believe, is the way that this works. Oh, so that reminds me. Rachel, Rachel is the women's champion. I'm gonna make some really big. Remember, Glamorella and Kofi Kingston and Mickey James were in a match like this a few years ago, I think. And oh. And here is the best technical wrestler in the world! You know, I just don't understand why people care so much about. And the thing that confuses me even more is how does Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan should be nowhere near uh, Winter Bradley's. Winter Bradley's, I think, could be better than her. I have to agree. But well, Winter Bradley is a nobody, so Mandy don't really care who he's with. I mean, Winter Bradley's is the, the current. Okay. Um, this appears to be a new theme. Oh. But of course, Winter Bradley, you see, there's the hardcore champion. But uh, again, this this whole match, I don't like it at all. Um, I love the concept. We're actually starting off with Brendan and. Danielle Bryan, who I believe on the last Vortex competed in a singles match with Danielle Bryan uh, winning that match. Yes, that is correct. Danielle Bryan defeated Brandon. Uh, well, a lot of people have defeated Brandon to the point where he hasn't won a single match here in Jeremax so far, thus far. Maybe tonight will be the night. And here comes Rachel. And I want to remind everybody, though, the term the duo's twist comes from the fact that uh, Brendan and Rachel are, uh, pe are, are uh, competitors from the reality show Big Brother. Um, Rachel actually went on to win the last season, uh, unfortunately, but they seem to have their heads wrapped around the fact that they are the, the, uh, the best performers or something, the best competitors. Anyway, they're both crazy. They're crazy as hell, they live in their own world, and I can't stand them both. They're like, crazy! I honestly, I, the, way, the only way for this match to, to redeem itself is for Winter Bradley's to win this match, and then claim both titles as his own, and then walk out, and that be it. That's the, only way, that's the only way that this whole thing will redeem itself, because I honestly am sick and tired of Danielle Bryan, and I'm sick and tired of Brenchel. And I am ranting because this is how much I've had to deal with this shit. But oh shit! Oh! Snowflake by Winter Bradley's goes for the cover. One, Will this be it already too? It's over! And that's it! Doors! I, I think that, I don't know what this means, but I believe Winter Bradley's and Daniel Bryan are now the respective champions. Winter that was Bradley's a quick match here. Goes for no Ryan celebrating her new championship. What she did? Carry the match! Wait, a Vegas wedding? Wait, why is Rachel there? I have no idea. This gets even crazier. There you go. Yeah. He has a point there. Wait, what? Oh. What? What the fuck? So it's Rachel and Winter Bradley's? What? What the fuck? So... So, what? Winter and 
Rachel? This just gets even more twisted. God damn it, Winter Bradley. This is not what I said. I meant when I said dump Danielle Bryan. Ah, damn it. Not this again. I don't know what to say here. Except. So wait, what does this mean for the women's championship? Whoa! Oh! I guess that answers it. No. The woman's title. I mean... I've never, I've never been a fan of Danielle Bryan, but, but Rachel? This is the worst moment in the history of our sport. And now Brendan, wait, asking about Danielle Bryan? Uh, what? <laughs> ah. Oh shit, that's rich. Wait, does that mean? Yes! Na 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 na, na 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 na. Hey hey hey, goodbye. Uh, you take the good, you take the bad, you take the all, and there you have the facts. Okay. And the ugly. A makeover? What? No! Don't what? ruin Winter Bradley's. He's perfect the way he is. God damn it! No, don't do that. Ray, Ray Chill. No. Don't, don't change, change him. No. What? What? Win, Brad. What? A symbol? A snowflake? What the fuck is this going on here? This has got to be illegal. Ah, oh, damn it. Now he's just a fucking snowflake? What? I guess Winter and Snowflake go with each other, right? You know what? They're perfect for each other. Fuck them both. I'm so sick of this bullshit. This is amazing! No! Wait, you're wait. not- God, dude, you're not Vegas! <sighs> you know, honestly... Uh, I would rather commentate seven Jeremanias with Don Bronchitis and deal with this bullshit once. But, unfortunately, anyway, I'm next. the show Steven. must go on, and Linda McSeven is going to face uh, her former uh, bodyguard, Steven Sprider in a Dark Force match. And um, we'll get rid I think uh, the stipulation is if Linda loses, she gets the map. And there's Steven Sprider who has had a less than uh, stellar performance here in Jeremax since debuting. And here comes blah 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 blah, Fudge. I'm still determined. It's him. See, that's, that's the problem. That is, why did, look, if you watched Vortex, you would have seen that. Linda McSeven and Bubba the Left Fudge were in the same ring together. I still call shenanigans. I say that it's different for different people. Well, you're wrong. Anyway, this is no count out. Horseshoe's legal. And... There's a kick right there. Yeah, this, we're gonna determine who Random Mc7 is, and it's not Papa the Love Fudge. What are you talking about? You, I, I still, I still call it cloning. There's gotta be something to this. You saw it. <clears throat> All right. Look, the thing is. Okay, wait. What is? What was that? I don't know, but that's not legal. The only thing that is legal, are, you know, see on the ground there. There's a horseshoe. That's legal. What do you think of this situation? I, I still call shenanigans here. Look, I, I, 
since the day that this whole thing has started, I've been a firm believer that the Linda McSeven is and and Bubba Lefudge are two different people. Ever know everybody's been calling it that that they're the same person, blah blah blah. And I don't. There's no proof. There's no proof. Fair enough. But we'll get to see. I mean, we saw it on Vertex. I just I mentioned this before. They were standing together in the ring. That is a great point. The right dog shuts your mouth. Steven Spider, looking to use that horseshoe, but the speed of Linda McSeven is proving to be an advantage for the big headbutt. Also, I don't know why Linda McSeven is wearing that, but I'm just going to ignore the fact that she's wearing that. What is that? A fishnet something. I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. Oh, wait, hey, what's wait. this? Steven Spider. Oh! Face first. Those, like uh, Linda. And Horseshoe. Oh, look oh. at that. In the face See. and, oh, across the top of the head. And that's a deadly weapon here. And those things are made out of solid metal. Of course, this have, match was made by Steven Spreader himself. He calls himself the Dark Horse, and so that's where this came this came to be. But I mean, it looks like he's thinking of ending this. Spreader going to end this right now. There's this finishing move. I refuse to call it the Spreader Plex, but that's what it is. Again. And there's another one. I think he wants more sure, than just a victory. Trying to make sure that Linda is down and out. That is Linda. It's over. And there it is. Steven Spider with the win. I guess this means that pretty soon we're going to find out the, uh, the true identity of Linda McSeven. This is something that people have been waiting for for months to see, including Steven Spider himself. Well, we're about to find out that I'll be right the whole time. Yeah, right! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, right! My mask wasn't on the line in this match, so I am out of here. Uh -oh. You should have chose your match type a lot more carefully, Spryder. Because oh. I'm getting away scot-free. Linda Mix... Ta-ta! Linda Mix 7 has a point. Wait a minute. What is that supposed to mean? Of course I'm getting away. You're going to chase me? I'm a lot faster than you, you Asian freak. Leave me alone! You lost! Wait a what? minute! The Quibbler! NAW's Quibbler? Uh, he was here oh, earlier. Oh shit, it is him! The Quibbler's back! What the. The Quibbler? You, you, you get the Quibbler. Ow! You got the Quibbler as backup? What the hell is that? You think he scares a. Leave me alone! You think you scare me, Gribbler? Oh, leave me alone! What are you... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, Things are not looking good. But, uh, what do you have to... Uh... It looks Think. like this is the moment of no. truth. No, don't! Let me go! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Go. The crossface! Let me go, let me go, it hurts! Ow! Ow! Oh no! Come on now! No! Don't do this! It's Wait. off! Let go! The mask is gone! <laughs> Wait! Go of me! It hurts! Let go. Wait a minute, I recognize that face. Uh. Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah ha! I told you so! You happy now? But what about the. You happy? Was it worth it? Because it sure was for me. Yeah, I'm Bubba the Love Fudge, and I'm proud of it. Really? Shut your mouth! I told you so. You know how ironic that is. Shut, oh, you know what? I'm I I'm at a loss for words here. I'm 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 leaving. Uh, uh, I'm mad and oh, I have no idea what to say. Well, anyway, it was uh, it was Bubba the Love Fudge all along. Don't it to hell. Well, anyway, Jeremania to the quickening continues.
This just gets even more crazy and confusing as we go.